Carla. And I'm Simon. And we've been together for about five years. Uh, 18 months after we met, uh, we got married in Barbados with our four children with us. And two days after that, uh, while we were lying on the sunbed, Carla said to me, how do you fancy sailing around the world? Well, well, I'm the guilty one, that's yeah. why we're sailing around the yeah. world. <laughs> so I thought about it for about two seconds and said, yeah, okay, this sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and lo and behold, 18 months later, uh, we stepped foot on Ocean Fox for the very first time. So this is our cabin, which is called the owner's version, which means this, the whole side of the boat is for ourselves. Uh, here we have where we put our clothes. So just have uh, normal clothes here, here. Here is kind of an office we use. Um, here is a printer which we have to use when we arrive in countries. We need to print some documents. So it's very helpful to have on board. Um, down here we have all of our shoes. Here is a freezer which is very good, it's a full-size freezer and um, it's pretty good when we go on passages so we can stock up uh, pre-cooked food and um, we, if we, ca we catch a lot of fish too so when we catch big fish and a lot of fish we just uh, clean everything up and stock up on the fridge, it's pretty good. So this is our bed, it's uh, our normal uh, mattress that we brought from home. It was a very good mattress so we wanted to bring, but we had to cut uh, on the shape of the bed because the corners are uh, a bit in an angle, so we had to cut off uh, to fit on the format of the bed. So storage is very very precious on the boat, so every single space on the boat is um, taken for storage. Here under the bed we have a drawer which Simon used for his uh, shorts. Uh, here is another thing, but it's for boat controllers, which Simon will explain later. Here on this corner, I have my dresses hanging. So we have uh, the hatches on the boat. So this is a big window here, which brings a lot of light into the boat, which is very, very good. And our hatches uh, are open, the, on the bedroom are open to the wind. So it's very, it brings the wind inside the boat when we are in warmer places. So uh, this is the coolest place on the boat actually. So if it's too hot outside, we just come here. We don't have any AC on the boat. So yeah, but we, uh, we live very well with just that. On the top hatches we have a mosquito net, which is this one, or we have this one which blocks all the light if you want to sleep during the day, which uh, helps when we are under passages and we need to sleep during the day. So as I mentioned before, this is the owner's version, so with, where the site is, uh, belongs to us. So if we want some privacy, we just close this door and we are completely isolated on this side of the boat. So if someone is outside, uh, we are just here, uh, have our space here. So this is the emergency hatch. Uh, it's very nice to look underway too, because you can see, you know, the fish and you can see everything here. But uh, this is in case the boat capsizes and we need to uh, get off the boat. So you have a hammer here to break the window and that's the one we use to get off. So this is another cupboard where we put uh, camera equipment and a lot of th the things, different things. Uh, we have around the boat a lot of these uh, lockers too, which are not designed to be uh, lockers, but we use to put some big things that we don't have any other space to put. We just use these ones too. So this one is our main wardrobe where we have uh, our folding clothes and Simon's uh, shirts on this side. Um, I literally, we literally brought everything we have from home, uh, our clothes. We just didn't bring because we we're going to be all, always in uh, warm uh, places. So we left behind our winter clothes, but literally we brought everything. We are not the kind of people that uh, use sailor, sailor gear all the time. We just dress normally. <laughs> So this is our bathroom, which uh, on the boat is called Heads, I don't know why. 
Um, so this is where we do our business here. We have an el electric toilet, which means you click on the buttons and it just macerates your business and turn it out. Uh, we have two systems. Uh, one is uh, a holding tank, just like you have on an RV or other systems, uh, where you open when you are out at, at sea. Uh, the rule is to open just when we are three miles out of sea. But if you, if you are offshore, we just leave it open and it just goes one by one. <laughs> Here is the sink. It's uh, just a big sink, normal sink, like you will have at home. I have all my creams here, everything I need. Um, these are the inside mirrors. It's a very good space this boat has inside. Have all the, we can have all our creams and all toiletries inside here. Here we have uh, our shower. It's a separate shower, which is, uh, that's one of the advantage of, of having a catamaran because we can have all this space divided space so we don't get anything wet here it's just a normal shower so you just close the door and you have your shower you don't have anything wet on this side of the boat it's um it's a very good i don't feel like we need something from home i miss something from home because it's just like normal it's just a, a normal system Okay, so here is our kitchen, which on a boat we call the galley. Uh, so here we have a normal hob, just like you have at home, with electric starters. It's just the normal you have at home. Here we have a cupboard with uh, most of the essentials. The oven is still the one from Lagoon, uh, the standard one from Lagoon, which we are going to swap for a normal one. Here is just some more uh, pot uh, with uh, things that I need. My old kid has been here since we started our journey two and a half years ago, so she's surviving to the sea. <laughs> here are the two sinks. Uh, so this is a, this used to be a dry sink, but we don't use as a dry sink because I don't think we need it because we have another two sinks here, so we just dry the stuff here. Uh, under the sink we have a cupboard where I have detergents and you know. Um, bean bags, uh, tea towels, everything. And here on these drawers, under the hob, I have the cutlery, all the cutlery. We don't use any plastic on this boat, so we use uh, cutlery, glasses, everything normal, just like you have at your house. Uh, just again because the boat is very stable so we don't feel uh, the need like on a monohull everything bangs and swings around but on this boat it's very stable so we just use all the normal here is uh, all the things we need on the kitchen here on the last straw is just pots and pans uh, olive oils and vinegars so all the cooking things are on this side here is the fridge, it's just a normal fridge, like the ones at home. Uh, we have on the boat two fridges and one freezer, which is very helpful. Here this has a little ice box, which I use just for frozen fruit, uh, because it was too small, uh, so that's why we bought the other freezer. Okay, so here I have all the hair tight containers where I have all the seeds, alternative flowers, um, alternative pastas because we eat a very healthy diet. We are on a low carb Mediterranean diet. Here again is some more stuff, uh, some herbs and rice and more stuff. Here these uh, lockers, all the lockers on the boat, they have a lock, so that uh, prevents off just if a wave hits the boat and opens and then these will would come out so the locker we just um, make things inside keep things inside so this is the um, the bin which, which is just exactly the same we brought from home to uh, here is the microwave uh, we don't use the microwave unless we are uh, plugged on shore, on shore because it uses a lot of electricity so we tend to use just if we are, if we are plugged. If we are at anchor we just don't use and it's uh, normally off. 
Here is the cupboard where we have all the plates, uh, more herbs, more uh, flowers. So all the decoration, <coughs> it's uh, down with uh, blue tag. So everything is uh, glued with blue tag. So it doesn't fly away while, while we are uh, at sea. So everything is glued with blue tag. So, you know, it just doesn't, doesn't move at all. So as I told you before, storage is very important on the boat and everything has something to put things on. Uh, this is not the best design of Lagoon. The, I don't think they were very uh, successful on this uh, design of the cushions under the lockers. So here is where I storage, it's, it's my pantry. When we are underway, I just uh, stock, it's pretty empty because we just uh, finished the ocean crossing. But normally it's up to the top with uh, all the tin food and everything we would need uh, if we are uh, away from big supermarkets. So this is the guest cabin. We normally don't have more than two guests on board. Um, so they can have uh, more privacy with the whole side of the boat for them as well. So on this side is two cabins and one bathroom, one head. Uh, so the, this head will serve both um, cabins. This is just a normal uh, bathroom with a separate shower as well. This is what we call the um, Dobby's uh, bathroom because he has his uh, box to do his business here as we never have anyone on this side. So moving forward uh, into the front cabin. So this cabin can be used as uh, two single beds or if we pull this here and you will have the, the rest of the mattress to put in here can be a double, double bed too. Here on this side we have our fishing uh, rods, which we um, use a lot. We catch our own fish and we have been very successful doing it, apart from the last crossing. <laughs> this is the main navigation area and here we have a plotter so we can actually see our position on a rolling map and we can also see other information like uh, the wind speed, direction, and the speed of the boat, etc. Uh, over here we have a radio with a CD player so that we can have a bit of music. We have an iPad here and we use this for uh, looking at the weather when we're at sea. We can uh, download the weather um, through a satellite system uh, called Iridian and uh, we get a display on here for the weather. Over here we have our VHF radio. Uh, this is how we communicate uh, with other boats up to about 15 miles. Uh, we also communicate with uh, harbours, marinas and port authorities. Tucked away in here I've got a few drawers where I keep all sorts of uh, little tools and things like that. And this is what we call the sort of kind of bosun's locker. And uh, then we have uh, tools specifically for the boat. And we have another drawer down here and uh, things like uh, the radio that goes outside and we store all the in these cupboards here. So this is our main electrical panel and uh, on here that you've got uh, the main switch for the uh, 220 volt electricity supplies, uh, battery chargers and on this side you've got all the 12 volt DC supply for things like fridges, water pumps, uh, navigation equipment, navigation lights. Uh, we put in this battery monitor down here because when we had the boat we weren't actually 100% sure how our batteries were doing and so that's been actually rather useful because it tells us exactly what it is. Again, Our main battery bank is uh, under the bed on the port side. Um, when we were back in Gibraltar we installed four new batteries, 220 amp hours each and we currently use around about 20% of that uh, each day and uh, it, you know that's obviously then charged by the wind generator, the solar, and it's also charged when we actually uh, are underway using the engines. And also we have two further batteries, uh, starter batteries, one for each engine, as one on the port side and one on the starboard side. So starting at the back of the boat, on the uh, port side, we've got the uh, boarding platform and the swimming ladder, and then we come up the steps to this level here. Over here, 
we have our car basically it's a, a rib it's 2.4 meters long and it easily takes two of us it'll take two of us very fast uh, take four of us and we use that for going ashore uh, when we're at anchor and we also use it for uh, going shopping and things like that above the, uh, the high field is uh, a set of solar panels uh, we have 330 watt uh, solar panels which gives us just over 400 watts of electricity which actually is enough for us to live off. So in here we have a large cupboard turn this uh, folding catch here and this opens up and on this side we keep our uh, swimming equipment, snortles, flippers, wetsuits. We have a very uh, heavyweight uh, mooring line we use when we want to uh, tie the boat uh, say towards the beach and also you can get at the uh, steering mechanism in here. Underneath this section, uh, these all comes out and underneath there is the engine room. So here is our outdoor space where we uh, normally have our meals. We, we have most of our meals here outside. Uh, it sits uh, very well comfortable, about six to eight people. Uh, that cushion over there, it's very good when we are underway. Uh, you just sit there and look the ocean. It's a beautiful place to be on a boat. Uh, here we have the drinking fr fridge, which is um, where we put all the drinks and uh, all the vegetables. It's very nice sitting here when you're out at sea. Uh, you get a lovely breeze coming in, you've got plenty of shade. We also changed the back of the chair um, because it was just like a foam pad on a bar. It was really uncomfortable. And uh, we actually built this back for it. And it's actually really quite, very nice. You can just sit here, watch the world go by, steer, or the boat will steer itself. Uh, making money on the uh, move isn't really that easy but we uh, we have a sailing channel on YouTube and uh, we get a small amount of revenue from there and also you can support us on Patreon uh, which is a crowdfunding platform and that gives us some income. Together with that um, I write uh, articles that get published in magazines and so we make uh, a few hundred dollars every couple of months of that. Yeah, and we offer a liveaboard experience where people uh, that wants to live this lifestyle, they just come aboard and uh, they can have the whole experience of, it's not a holiday for them, it's just no. a real experience, so they can yeah. live the experience of a liveaboard. Yeah. We show the real life. Yeah, the real life of what it's like to be living on board. Yeah. 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 So you can have that experience before you buy a very expensive boat and just regret not liking or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is a wonderful lifestyle. You really can't beat this lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, just being in the most beautiful blue waters, yeah. the, freedom, the golden beaches. The freedom, the living outside is just amazing. It is absolutely incredible. And uh, I would say to people, if you're thinking about it and you're concerned about it, go and try and get some experience somewhere and you will find out that this is a wonderful, wonderful way to uh, have your life.